All right, guys, as you know, once a week, we like to give away of our famous Sixer sauce. Today is no different. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then send a screenshot that you did that to our DMs on Instagram, at number six with cheese, and then you're automatically entered. We're gonna pick our winner right now. So, Corey, go ahead and spin this around. I'm going up, down, up, down. I'm not looking, not looking, not looking. Bam. Pete Valino with the fingers crossed. Boom, hasn't won yet. Pete Valino, congratulations. That's a bottle of Sixer Sauce, straight to you. I'm gonna message you now, then we'll send that. It's a fact that you'll eat it, enjoy it, on to the episode. You guys, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese today. I got the pizza shirt on for Paula and Monica's in Westtown on a quest to try every single pizza in the city, knocking another one off. Glad you're here. Yeah, guys, and also we've got a sale deal for you this week. Anybody who buys a Monday Drunk shirt, there's not very many of them left, but anybody who buys one, they're gonna get a free sticker, a free bottle opener, and a free bottle of uh, Sixer sauce that comes right along with it. So go take advantage of that deal. Get you a bunch of freebies and a six shirt at number six with cheese.com. All right, pizza time. Hit the shirt. <laughs> I just had to pick up for Sean. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye. One Paula and Monica's pizza in that box acquired Jump Cut. Another local pizza place in Chicago, another Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, looks like a pretty traditional standard pizza here. Uh, not the toppings, just the crust and whatnot. We've got, it looks like jardinera on there. There's some Italian beef. We've got some sausage, and then there's some garlic sprinkled about. And uh, I believe that's it for the ingredients, guys. There you go. Plate. This is their pan. This is the pan. Pan pizza. Pretty, oh, yeah. Pretty shallow pan. Yeah. Looking good though. Yeah. I don't get Italian beef on pizza very often. I wonder, is this my first time having it or is we, have we done that for the show before? I'm starting to get a little hazy on my memory myself, so I don't know, we might have. The middle part, yeah. Right out of the oven too, so this could end your hopes and dreams your tongue might have. Cause it's, it's I saw them pull it right on out. Oh yeah, that hurts, ha <laughs> ha. Maybe I need a, one of those plastic knives. It's a big pet peeve of mine, to be quite honest. Not having the, the full cut, the delicate cut, the he, pizza rip. He had the gigantic um, pizza cutter too, the one that you like do the Oh yeah. He didn't even use the wheel. He used the what looked like a machete. Sometimes I think it's undercooked pizza because the crust is a little flimsier. Yeah. And more rippable rather than yeah. just like a clean tear. But right. The gentleman in there asked me what the significance of my shirt icon was. I didn't, oh, know, yeah. I didn't know how to answer it. I wrote, I, I wrote, I said, oh, just for fun. <laughs> didn't know how to answer. It sounded like the biggest lame in the world. That's I didn't want to get into the fact that you it's dumb to, yeah, for the show for sure, but like still yeah. so silly. That's funny. He's probably like, this is the most unfun person there is. <laughs> Is this guy on a frat or something? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely looks like a dope decay. All right, you want to go for it? Let's do it. All right, here we go. First time having this. I'm excited. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Okay. No real wow factor, but no just kind wow of a factor. solid bite. Like, uh, yeah. kind of just like traditional pizza that you're like, okay. Oh, man. This is definitely undercooked. I yeah. can tell because I'm getting major gum line. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that way well, it looks clear. Yeah. Oh, this is such a bummer. And the taste is not as good. Should have left it in like another five minutes. Something. That's always a shame because with situations like this, with any restaurant, there's a hit or miss factor. Yeah. And you just don't know, is this bad because it was undercooked? I know. I shouldn't say bad. It's not bad. It's just like bland. Yeah, it just doesn't really like stand out to me at all. Just like kind of pizza, just pizza pizza. Mm-hmm. Whatever that means. This is, how much was this? All right, so this is a 14 inch. I guess it was $20. Like pretty much even. Mm. Wow. I mean, this is not good. This like undercooked section is like, it ruins the flavor. I'm just trying to like enjoy the toppings. Yeah, but, the like, toppings are good. But the cheese and kind of like the dough toward the end of the piece 
little upsetting. Yeah, and the $20 mark, if you're gonna have bland, boring pizza, you just go get Domino's. I mean, honestly, I think Domino's is more delicious than this, than what I'm eating right now. Yeah, I mean, whether maybe they cook it longer and maybe it's better, I don't know. Well, the hardest part of that is the fact that you can get this exact pizza Domino's for $8. Exactly. So. Wow. That is a shame. It is. I love the idea of an Italian combo pizza. Me too. Sausage, Italian beef, some jarred. Love that. But when you don't really deliver on the build of the pizza, when it's cooking it till the end, to the finito, mm -hmm. it's just not, you're not gonna get the experience you want. You know, yeah, that's that's true. You know, be a good Italian combo. Manu Ginobili and Mike Piazza. <laughs> Those two hanging out? Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Was Ginobili Italian? Ooh, no, I think he was, um, French, Argent Spanish, Argentinian. I feel like Manu Ginobili was from like Argentina or Brazil. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I thought you were talking about me only. Uh, what would be a good an Italian combo? I like Mike Piazza. I'm That's already, a great I'm already sold on Mike Piazza. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Da Vinci. Imagine those two nut jobs. <laughs> Imagine them hanging out. Uh, I saw that I was above the my peers. I'm gonna try more. I'm just gonna try to salvage with some Sixer sauce. Ugh. That's why the tear is having such a problem too. I I know it. Yeah. If this Ooh, is cooked, Argentinian. Argentinian. Okay, yeah. If this is cooked better, the tear is easier. You're spot on. Wow, yeah, you can really see that gum line here. Yeah, there's it's just like a clear line. You can see, yeah. you can see it. See it? You can definitely see it. I want there. just some Italian shredded beef. Like nice good. Oh wow, that's really good Italian beef actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I get that Sixer sauce? The major flop too. That's like a big part of the undercooking. Oh my god, that's like, really look at that. That's. Now I get the whole flop thing. <laughs> That's in that moment. Oh man, this is such a shame. This is exactly why we don't tell restaurants we're coming. Because we want to get the every man's experience. I love that. I want this to be what, because I don't want them to like cook us something special. I'm no. sure that's what happened at Zaza's. They got overpacked and my pizza was underperformed. It was so boring. And then they know El Presidente is coming through. They're going to cook on the best pizza they possibly could. And then everybody's like, we got to go to Zaza's. It's mm. great. If we would have told them we were coming, we'd have had a much better pizza experience. But then we would have failed our audience because our audience would not have gotten the same quality. We're filming this at... Just at about the lunch rush, really, a little bit after the lunch rush. So 12, it's currently 12.54 on a Thursday when we're filming this. I don't know if it is gonna matter if they come at off hour. Laziness right. is a disease that never sleeps. <laughs> Some good words to live by. Mm -hmm. Better with the citrus sauce just because it like hides the blandness. That's a bummer because this had a damn good review online. A couple people were putting this in like a sneaky good pizza list. Mm -hmm. Like nobody really talked, so you can't even bite through it. It's so floppy. This is a shame. I know, that it's... It is a shame. I wanted it to be better. I see the potential. Yeah, potential's there, but you gotta, you gotta execute. As Manu Ginobili would probably have said after a game in the Olympics, we gotta execute better. Mm -hmm. It's very basketball oriented. When you got a boring pizza, just try to talk about basketball. Yeah, I know. We gotta find other subjects when yeah. the pizza is boring. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a prime example of what Sixer sauce is for. Absolutely. You find yourself with a boring anything, mm -hmm. Sixer it up. Yeah, you have to. Is that a shameless plug for our hot sauce? Yeah, it's amazing. It's the Absolutely. second best hot sauce on the market. Everyone knows it. <laughs> you're so honest that you're in love with trout. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do, you know? Well, speaking of shameless plugs, I just got back from Portland and I did my damn best to try to vlog some of it. Oh, <laughs> I tried nice. to put together some stuff I was doing, some fun stuff, some wine t tastings, some of the wedding stuff, some of the brewery crawls. I tried to put all that into little, some videos. So by the time this video's out, those are probably out too. So yeah, give them a watch. So my first time spending time in Portland, Oregon. Damn shame of a pizza. Yeah, I'm really, I'm a little bummed to be honest. All right, so if you didn't see in our live show last week, we got little whiteboards here now. So we're gonna reveal our score at the same time rather than Corey going first and me going in the PNGs. This is a much more raw, in the moment, learning. There we go. Thanks. I'm trying to guess yours. What do you think? Oh, I saw a dot. Okay, that's a good start. That's a two. Stop looking over here. I didn't look at you. This is, I don't, I don't want I this like, to be a thing now where like we're guessing. looking at each yeah, I'm going other. To. I'm going to try to guess what yours is. <laughs> All right, the reveal of the Paula and Monica's Italian combo pizza, 14 inch, 20 bucks. Corey, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Ah! Oh. Ooh, yours is light. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm lower. I was right. One, yeah, was 1. 2. 2. You were right. Man. And I didn't so look over smart. you. 1.2. Um, so you thoroughly disappointing pizza. Very um, disappointing. Undercooked. 
Um, not a wow factor whatsoever. Yeah. Um, four toppings, so 20 bucks. I mean, I don't know, I just I don't get that. Um, and I'm bummed because I was really excited about the toppings. I was excited about an Italian combo pizza. If you guys don't know, in Chicago, we have like Italian combo sandwiches they are delicious. They turned that into a pizza and underperformed. Yeah, it was a damn shame. I think the ingredients were pretty decent. The Italian beef tasted way better. Italian beef, generally speaking, is bland. Yeah, for the most part. But that had some good flavor. Mm -hmm. And so they could have done something pretty good with it. Instead, they just uh, didn't. They did not. They didn't. Contractions. So that was uh, unfortunate. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. We got new videos Monday through Friday. Subscribe to the channel today to comment and hang out with you folks in the comment section throughout the day. What is a sandwich that you wish was turned into a pizza? I already know mine. Uh, he's going to write his. I may or may not write mine. And uh, we'll chat with you guys you in the comments. Do you tell yours now so you can copy off me? No. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode on the show. Don't forget about the Monday Drunk Bundle. Whole bunch of stuff for not much money. I don't know where you sit financially, but it's a lot of stuff for not much. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Over half of the cost is like just the hot sauce is more than half the cost. Right, exactly. Whoa. Time to get out of here. We'll see you soon. Thanks for rocking with us. We love you for being here. Goodbye.